non-GX. Attacks for one attachment can hit up to 270, 300 damage. You young kids just don't know how good Gyarados really was, okay? Now, this is one of my favorite decks. In fact, I think it might be my favorite deck of all time. Um, might not have like, the best results playing it, but oh my god, it's so much fun. It sort of falls into that sort of Gramble-esque kind of deck where, and Makaga to a certain extent, where you have to really plan your turns out but it's so rewarding if you do. So let's have a look at Gyarados. I'm going to resurrect my favourite deck of all time, baby. Give you a little bit of a deck profile and show you some games. So, we've got Gyarados here, okay? For you young cats that don't know, stage 1, 130 HP. Uh, full retaliation is our build around, okay? Uh, for a DCE, counter energy or free CE, I guess. Uh, 30 plus 30 for each damage counter on your bench. Magikarp, okay? So you're probably thinking... Oh, okay, that sounds quite good. That could add up, but how are you reliably getting your damage on? Well, you know what, viewers? I shall show you how we're getting the damage on. Again, you, you and Cats might not know about this card. 2015. <laughs> Team Magma Secret Base. What this basically does is, um, whenever any player puts a basic Pokemon down that's not a Team Magma Pokemon, they have to take 20 damage. So all you do is just put your Magma Secret Base down first, um, and then put your Magic Cards. They're all going to have 20 on, okay? Because they've all got 30 HP. So that's how we're going to add it up. So if you've got two bench magic cards with 20 damage on each, you do 3, 6, 9, 12, 150, okay? Uh, for a DC on a stage 1. That's quite good, okay? So what are you thinking? That sounds okay, that sounds okay, but you know. How are we like? How are we going to explode some more damage? Because obviously back then, sort of 180 was a magic number, right? So if you had two magic carps on the choice band, you hit 180. That's that's fine. How are we going to reach silly numbers now to do with tag teams and stuff? Well, let me tell you, viewer. So, <laughs> so what we could do? There's a few options, okay? Ditto is our first one. This is kind of a sort of more niche, fun one, I guess. This has the most uh, lets you hit silly numbers. So, Ditto was a card that wasn't around when Gyarados was played. In the standard. So what Ditto lets you do is you can evolve the Ditto into the Gyarados, right? And then have four benched Magikarps with damage on, right? So if that's the scenario that you manage to pull off, you do uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 150, 180, uh, 210, 240. 240 for one attachment on a non-GX. Pow! Now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, 240 is nice. Don't get me wrong. That's it in like Pikaron. That's it in all them. But it's not hitting everything. And you know what? You're right. Unfortunately, that's the sad times we come to is that 240 doesn't want to show everything. But don't worry, viewer. I got your back. So you're hitting 240. What else can we do? We can go pa pow and then go for the choice banner. Let's just hit 270. Okay. And you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, 270 is not. What about Mega T Tar? Stuff like that. Well, I've got you again. I've got you again, young viewer. Because so, Gyarados has this ancient trait. This, now, these don't really last uh, last very long, but Theta Double. This Pokemon can have two tool cards attached to it. So what you can do is uh, go for the 270, attach another choice band, hit 300, and 300, let me tell you, does destroy everything in the game. 300, stage one, non-GX. There we go. <laughs> so, with all that being said, what else have we got? So, <laughs> we got ourselves Jirachi. Now, we did play um, Octillery back in the day. I've gone for a Jirachi build just to see what that's like. Octillery might be better because you play so much ball search. I don't I'm not sure. Obviously, Stella Rift, let's just grab out Stadium. Let's just grab out uh, all our ball search as well. Um, I should, it's probably worth noting. This Magikarp also has an ability that when it's on the bench, you can prevent all damage done to it by attack. So, stuff like Jet Punch, Hammerhead. All that stuff is negated by uh, the Magikarp's ability. We've got one Shaman. That should probably be a Dedenne, but I just wanted to just go old school with it. So we got ourselves a Shaman. And we play a whole host of Bull Search. We want to just turbo out all our stuff straight away and just explode on stuff. So we've got four Ultra Ball. Do you remember that card? <laughs> Which lets us search out everything. Discard two cards from your hand. Search your deck for a Pokemon. Put it in your hand. Really good synergy with Shaman because that, you know, lets you go minus three to draw up the Shaman. For Quick Ball, now you, you could play Level Ball here as well. I'm not sure if Quick Ball's better, but what Level Ball lets you do is search out Jirachi and Magikarp, okay? Um, quick Ball lets you search out your entire deck minus the Gyarados. So it lets you have your Shame in order Dene, but it's a minus one. So there's that. Uh, dive Ball's insane. Free search for Magikarp and Gyarados. So that's nuts. And that's made me think that maybe Auxiliary is worth considering because uh, Dive Ball's a free search for it. 
Um, outside of that, four rescue stretches just so we can reload our magic cards. So they try and like KO loads of magic cards at one time. It's not outside of the possibility to just fill your bench back up straight away before you've got stadium and let you get back Gyaradoses as well. Trainers Melt, remember this card? Really good for finding stadiums um, and your ball search, all that good stuff. Hella fun and VS Seekers as well. So Trainers Melt can sometimes turn itself into a supporter, which is nice. Speaking of VS Seekers, you remember this? <laughs> a supporter cup with discard pile into your hand. Incredible, especially when you play stuff like teammates, uh, which is really good in non jack decks. You get the most value. You can potentially use it two or three times during a game. Really good for reloading and making sure you secure a KO after they KO'd you. Four Sycamore, because that's just insane. Why wouldn't you play it? Uh, one Gus Master. Only form of Gus we can really fit in. You could play stuff like um, Counter Catcher. But um, I'm just going to stick with the Gus Master for now. We tend to just destroy what S7 in the active anyway. Um, speaking of the Theta Double, here's an, a, an addition that I like. I'm having quite a good uh, success with. The Lucky Egg. So we can go like Lucky Egg plus Band. Get the best of both worlds. Get some little consistency boost that maybe lets you forego the auxiliary. Obviously, when you're knocked out, drop to seven cards. Again, because of a non-GX deck, we're going to get insane value out of this. Maybe getting two pops in the game. Uh, two Escape Balls for your Jirachis. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Another addition we've also got now, if we didn't have back then, was obviously got the four DCs, obviously. Also got the three CEs as well. So this acts as extra energy. So that means we're not always having to teammates for energy. We can teammates for stadium, carps, stretchers, all that stuff. So yeah, this is my favorite deck of all time. Um, without puzzles, uh, it's a bit of a nerf, but I do think it's possible to play without. That being said, let's get into some games. Oh, he's going first. We haven't got a Jirachi lead. Oh, this is a terrible. Yeah, we don't open Jirachi that often considering we play four Jirachi, four Magic. I have my Sony basic Pokemon. So that's the star me that attaches bare energy, right? Right, so we're gonna have to Ultra Ball away. 3C Gyarados. Or 3C Bike. Uh, go Gyarados. Hope we haven't prized one we haven't. Okay. So we'll get a Stellar Wish. Uh, do that. Train is moment to see cards, don't we really? Okay, we get the sycamore, but we're gonna we're gonna have to discard two Gyarados. Which uh, ain't really ideal. Hopefully you can just uh, stretch your sun back in. Oh he's getting magic up down too. Kinda of forgot about that. Well Oh, we got two Gyarados in deck. Well, I forgot we are playing four. I thought we were playing three. Get a DCE, no three CE. Okay, so we can get rid of what? Three CE Sycamore. So we can VSE connect turn. Get another Carp. A special charge and back in. We still have a wish yet? No. Ooh, Lucky Egg's kind of nice. Um, but we've got BSE because it can more. Gonna get all the carps out since we will need them. Because two, uh, whatever number. Oh, uh, yeah, 260 is a hard number to hit. 36, 9, 12, 150, 180. Now we can't really. We can't get to 260. Feel blowing off the, the skateboard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the only thing that scares me is he's probably going to play some form of a uh, bench snipe. Don't know what it could be. It could be SB, uh, SBD. Uh. Not sure. Let's see what he compresses away there. Is that a muck muck? Mewtwo. Okay. Was that a blues? 
Wow, okay. Oh, we got rid of our stadium as well. Okay. We got any other supporters in the discard? Just Sycamore, right? That's fine by me. That is fine by me. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, could we Guzman this turn? <laughs> kind of want to, don't want to evolve the Gyarados now, in case you can Guzma kill it, right? Um, potentially, we can KO the Star you though. Wow, well, fail search. If we hit a skateboard, stretch is kind of cool. Um... Okay, we're gonna re we're gonna go for Ditto so we can try and reach the one shot at some point, right? Yeah, we can take KO and we're gonna try on one shot because if we did uh, three, six, nine, twelve, one fifty, one eighty, two ten, two forty. Yeah, we can actually one shot. Okay, do a bench that now. Uh, we'll stretch her. Grab Gyarados. Oh no, we can't retreat because we ain't got a skateboard. Lol, ignore me. Um, so yeah, we'll do it like that then. For some reason, I thought we could just retreat if we uh, attach the DCA. Completely forgot that. Obviously, you can't retreat if you're asleep. Like I said, Stadium's done its job now. We've almost got all our cults of damage. Rock guard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, we're not playing Ace back in here. Oh my God, just realize. <laughs> He's gonna. All oh, right, we can Guzma now. And really smack that thing. So we want to try and try and what we want to do here. How much damage are we doing? Three, six, nine, twelve, one fifty, one eighty, two, ten. We can do two forty, which is twenty off. Oh wow! If we get our uh, choice band, but then but then you re but then heat miraculous duos, right? So maybe we should KO the Sigilif with this. So that frees up that bench bot. I think that is the plan, right? Oh, now we get the escape ward lol. Yeah, that's the plan then. Whoa, almost. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna assume this is a KO, right? Yeah, we do 210, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we don't want to fall into Miraculous Duo Trap. So hopefully now he just carries us with this. We can put that back down, evolve that. And we can just destroy this Mewtwo. That's the idea. Unless you get some sort of big bench clear KO now, which would be scary. Gengar Mimikyu is not that. Is that a Verbank? Okay. Oh, I guess with the uh, the mock mock. Yeah, we can do three, six, nine, twelve, one fifty, one eighty, two ten, two forty. Yeah. Woo! That's a big old number right there. Sunny Jim. We can even teammates out our choice band go for max damage. Miraculous do it. Oh no! Does that 10 actually matter? Oh, it doesn't heal. Woo, I got scared then, you know. I got scared then, you know. <laughs> right, so we get that. Right, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270. Yeah, okay. So, we do need to get that cart back, though. So, teammates has to be for stretcher. 
Um, and what, secret base? Yeah, we've got secret base in hand. We haven't got our choice band, unfortunately, so we can't go for the super mega destruction play of all time. What I'm scared about, though, is that Gengar Mimikyu. Uh, or you can't get that powered up in a turn, so maybe we shouldn't be scared of that. Maybe VS Seeker, so we can just Guzma. Oh, no, we don't even need to Guzma. Whoop. Uh, but... Maybe VS Seeker. I, no, I quite like VS Seeker still. Take those two. Uh, we play Stadium. Rescue Stretcher. Discard Pile into Hand. Carp. There we go. Have we Stellar Wish yet? No. Stellar Wish grabs us Dive Ball. That seems fine. Right, and let's see if I've done my maths correctly. Hey, Gyarados, give it to him. <laughs> and let's be talking about needing another choice band huh, for, so we can reach big numbers. I think not. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. What are you going to do, Horror House me? What you, come on, what are you, is that what you're doing? <laughs> oh wow, that's uh, that's crazy. Well, the fact that he's playing on makes me think he might have some sort of um, some sort of bench clear. Although even if he clears the whole bench, that's not. Oh no, that is five roses. <laughs> Man, we just hit two seventy with a non GX. Coke trap. Coke trap. This is like some sort of poison deck. Then he likes his poison. Does our guy? He didn't attack, we just... Wait, we just... Oh, Gyarados! Give it to him, baby! Jeez! Oh, we're playing against Mono Fighter here, so... Let's give it something like Baby Clowns, though. And an expanded, you know, every deck is. Uh, do we go first? Um... Yeah. We've got Stadium, which is nice. Hopefully, we can just get a couple carps. Or oh, we've got one dive, but we've got Stadium, we've got Trainer's Mail. So, yeah, this is. Haven't got energy, but that's fine. Hopefully, we can go digging around for that. Okay. I'm not sure how sequencing goes with uh, Jirachi. I think we always dive ball first, though. Uh, guess we'll take secret base. Uh, level ball. Or oh, do we take the sycamore? Um, if we're hitting for weakness, we probably don't need that many carps out, so we'll take the sycamore. Uh, put down carp. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Over to you, my friend. Get rid of two VSC because it's a bit annoying, but... So is that some sort of expanded abilities are by the looks of it? I don't think they can play bench snipe, which is nice. That's the only thing we're realistically scared of, right? Got rid of our stadium, could we took the other one. Is he gonna GX? Okay. That first move over Makaga. So we'll place that stadium. Grab another carp. Uh, we'll evolve you. We want a sycamore most likely. Attach choice band. We'll uh, Stellar Wish after the supporter. Got the escape board. Got another carp, which is fantastic. Attach a skateboard. Got the energy as well. Stellar Wish. You might as well get another dive ball. 
to get ourselves out of fourth carp. Not that we realistically probably need it, but. Uh, Acro. Have we seen our special charge already? Okay, the special charge is there. Right, we'll take VSC, cousin. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Attach that and eject this Charizard tag team from the game. <laughs> this is going to be a big old hit, this one. Woo! 480, boy. That's a yikes. That is a big old yikes. Right, who's next to the slaughtering house? Anyone into that rap group slaughterhouse? And I think him replacing the stage at this point is kind of irrelevant because <laughs> we've got the carp down already, right? Unless you can knock them all out in one go, which you might be able to do. Cool. So if we have to do a great deal here, apart from click, <laughs> we could probably get out another Gyarados if we wanted, but. <laughs> let's see what uh let's see what he's got. Great catcher. Oh another tag team. So we can go hunting for our uh, Guzma and uh, end this game. Oh blacksmith, very nice. You don't see that card too often. I wonder if he plays Welder as well. Let's see if we can go find our... Uh... Have we got anywhere of trying to go find our Gizma? Nah, we don't even need to do anything really, do we? We'll just click. <laughs> I'm going to say, like, you know what I mean? Don't need stage him no more. Right, on this tag team, we'll go for the... We're going to go for... Um... Oh, if we want to go for max damage, we need to get Ditto out, didn't we? You can GX us. Yeah. Alright, so what we're doing here is attach to the ECE. Dive ball. And that will be that, really. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Stella Wish. Oh, we would have got the Guzma as well. Nice. Don't know we need it, though. That's all for you. Yeah. I'm just going to assume this is a KO because we actually... Hold on. Let teammates for Stretcher. Guzma. I bet you can hit max damage. Yeah. Uh, discard pile into hand. We'll take back. Oh no! We got stadium. Ah, my bad. Hopefully it doesn't matter. I don't think it will. And if it does, I'm sorry. Nah, just just about though. <laughs> I love this deck. I actually love this. this is my favourite deck of all time. Um, yeah. Uh, do I think it's competitive still? I'm not sure. I don't really follow Expanded that much. I imagine it's just super, like, toxic and whatever, right? But it is hella fun. It was fun when I first started playing and it's still fun now. Oh, boy. Full retaliation, Gyarados. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video, much appreciated, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't hesitate to subscribe, I try and put out as much stuff here as I can. Full deck profiles, plus games, topic conversational pieces regarding anything in the TCG. Um, check out my Twitter, check out my Facebook, that's where you get most of the updates, sort of see what's going on behind the scenes, all that good stuff. Also check out the SoundCloud for the full um, bi-weekly podcast. If you're interested, if you like the conversational pieces, go check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.